All right, guys, another year, another expo. This is Fit Expo 2024 kicking off the first expo of the season in downtown L.A. And uh, I was excited to see a lot of familiar faces, but so many new faces this year. I felt the expo was a lot bigger than the couple years uh, prior. Obviously, we had a, you know, a different time where things weren't as settled and you know, these expos kind of slowed down, but we we're back. We had over a three-hour lineup. We had people lined up there for hours on end, and I was only there the Saturday, but Angie and I and the dogs, we brought our small booth over. Dave behind the camera here filming uh, a lot of people's interactions. We had a ring light up. You can see the dog sitting over in the corner there. Brought all the posters uh, and all our supplements. Uh, Cutler Nutrition has been growing rapidly uh, we do sell a lot of our products online and on Amazon, some retail locations, but it's been tremendous, the feedback, and, you know, we did have our backdrop there. Like I said, we didn't set up our large booth this year because uh, sometimes it's a little harder to take that thing down, but we had our Black Friday poster special. People brought their memorabilia cards. I had, the, of course, the yellow poster and, of course, my all-time favorite flex cover with the uh, tearing the, the covers with Dexter and Phil. But you see people repping all the Cutler gear. And uh, I was able to, to uh, continue to sign all this stuff and ask people, where are you going to hang up your Jay Cutler memorabilia? Some people use it for motivation. I mean, heard so many great stories about why people come out to these expos. And I can't tell you how much motivation this continues to give me time and time again, no matter what it is, whether it's an expo, a gym appearance, military event, charity event. Um, just meeting someone in a restaurant or out and about, you know, we have all our merch here. Um, of course, the pig shirts, um, all the tank tops, Cutler Athletics, Swole Monkey. Uh, but more importantly, I always ask people what they do with this memorabilia, where they hang it. And I get a lot of different opinions on whether it's going to be in their bedroom wall, their home gym, or for their future fitness center, which is really cool. But you can see um, the interaction is so, so important for me. So I want to thank everyone that's watching this video that made the journey out to meet me, shake hands, and do what they do to give me uh, that extra motivation, realize that I did not only do great things on the stage, but it's it's leaving an impact with those people moving forward. And uh, I was writing personal messages to everyone Uh putting out, you know, obviously people brought their memorabilia that wasn't something I actually had on my table, which is really cool. It's very impressive. And uh, like I said, so many new faces. Where are you going to hang this up? In my room. Uh, <laughs> where are you going to hang this up was the question of the day. This one was going in his room. So honored to have all this memorabilia that's going to hang all over the place. You don't know how many people tag me constantly with their gym walls or their actually gym murals, which is crazy. I never imagined that. So interviewing for the Olympia, let's listen to what we have to say. I think it's great. Uh, we, we had limited platforms to be able to compete. I mean, I remember as a teenager, I was looking at people like this. Uh, Chris, you know, was actually, I watched Chris turn pro and thinking, wow, I need to reach that level in order to be successful at this. Now today, you see a lot of the younger guys jumping into men's physique, class and physique, because it's very attainable for them. Where I feel like, you know, in the open division, it's a lot of density, a lot of years of training. And the guys are getting bigger and bigger. Where I think now you have an opportunity of guys that you see moving from men's fatigue to up to classic. And then even some of the classic fatigue moving to open bodybuilding. And it's just, it's grown, the popularity has grown. And uh, I think it's very appealing. And worldwide, you've seen the expansion overseas. I mean, we used to think it was so great overseas, right? But now you see so many athletes that are competing in the different divisions that are successful at it from all the different countries and they're, they're actually doing very well. More pictures with the fans. Sugar Sean Ray, Hall of Famer. 
who was a recent guest on our podcast, and he uh, always brings everyone over to see me, and of course, it's always great. He was a huge inspiration to me when I was up and coming, so to see him at these expos and be able to grab a picture after many, many years of obviously competing with each other and now being on the other side, he's representing brands. Big Mac Truck is in the house. Big Mac Truck. Oh yeah, I ain't playing, I told Jay. I gotta get it going. He's getting it this year. Yeah. Look at the bling. Ooh, yeah. it's right. nice. Yeah. You see it? Yeah, I see her, but every time I try to come over here, I keep getting stuck. So tell, tell everyone on YouTube what, you, what your plan is for 24. Uh, the plan for 24 is I'm, I'm going to try to get redemption at the uh, Cal. After the Cal, I'm trying to take myself on to Texas. Is May or? As May. Okay. Yeah, to California. So I got to get redemption. I came in dead last. I can't come in last no more. Well, you were I don't like how that feels. You were stuck in traffic and stuff, yeah. right? So. Yeah, my body went to shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You were all work, all work up, right? Yeah, yeah. So now. So your channel's kicking ass. Yeah. That's yeah. the plan. No, That's his channel's doing really well. Oh, I know. He's ready to hit 100K now, right? Yeah, I'm getting close. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting close. Yeah, so. Oh, uh, the go like, I had to put on more muscle. And that's what I've been doing. And then, not only that, um, uh, Drew keeps me with all the creatine I need. All, the, oh, oh my God, the central lane, and all that, man. You gotta amazing. keep eating, man. You gotta keep eating. Yeah, I got to. That's the goal. But, you know, I think I did good right now, you know? You think I can't get nobody in the train because I gotta train myself. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, great to see everyone. Melvin Anthony, the marvelous one. I was talking to him about he got second to me at the Ironman in 2003. He was one of the best posers in our industry at the time. Horatio is with him here. Yeah, this year, a lot of posters that people, I just said it was the most. Derek Lunsford, Mr. Olympia in the house. Great to see him and Hani as trainer, the guy who trained me for 09 Comeback, the Quad Stomp, 2010, 11. We're talking about he just had a newborn child. <laughs> Hey, 
Yeah, so we're talking about the prize money and the potential hot he has to win if he won the Arnold UK and the Arnold US. And I mean, Derek just walked away with 400,000. Look at a leg here, man. Crazy. He just was able to do that quad stomp. And I said, he's the new king of quads. All right, listen to my wrap up here, guys. I appreciate you following along. So all these people that came out to see us, we did our little mini booth for this one, but it was an awesome turnout line all day long. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and uh, I want to appreciate everyone that followed along, you guys that came out to support it, people that came in the past, and uh, more importantly, people that shared those stories with me. That was actually awesome. Uh, extra motivation. It always gives me motivation to come to these expos and be able to listen to the stories and realize that what I did wasn't just on stages. It was gone way beyond that. And uh, I feel very blessed. I always walk away from these things with experience. And, uh, you know, I'm thankful for being able to be on the bodybuilding stage and uh, have the platform and the magazines, the social media, and realize how important all the YouTube content is, JTV, the Jaywalks. And uh, hopefully you guys get some airtime on here uh, that did come out. And if not, we'll see you guys next year. So appreciate you guys. Keep following along and make sure you guys comment. We'll see you at the next expo. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones, go sexy on you. I kept the script. I rolled the dice. Don't fall asleep, cause I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to show.